Hello, welcome to Car Free Kicks. On this channel, I review the latest leather free sneakers to drop. Now, before I get into this fresh new drop from Adidas that you can see behind me, I just want to start by saying a massive thanks to everyone who subscribed to the channel so far. If you haven't subscribed, the subscribe button is below. Please take two seconds right now to click that button and also click the little notification bell. You'll get two things. One, you'll get a notification every time a video drops on the channel. But two, if you make your subscriptions public, because it's the only way I can find you, then you'll be in with a chance of winning shoes that I review on this channel. Now recently I've been trying to give away this pair of Nike Ghost Whips to King, but King has not DM'd me on Instagram. So there's going to be another five names that I'm going to put out the spinning wheel and whoever DMs me first out of those five names, I'll be sending these shoes to you. Now, let's get into it. This is the fresh new drop from Adidas. It's the Adidas NMD R1s version 2. Okay, so when I review a shoe, I look into five main things. Firstly, I'm gonna look at how they look, then how comfy they are, how much they weigh, how breathable this upper is, and then I'll look at how much they're gonna set you back with their price. Now, starting off with how these sneakers look. This is the NMD R1 version two. Version one came out a couple of years back and really took the sneaker market by storm, they sold out everywhere. And now, all of a sudden, their popularity's really dipped. I guess they're a lot more I don't know, favorable silhouettes out there now. And that might be the reason why Adidas have brought out this new NMD R1 version two silhouette. Now, overall, the silhouette looks incredibly similar, but there are some very subtle differences with this shoe. For example, the midsole here, still an Adidas Boost midsole, but now it's two-tone. So this one here, for example, gold at the back, white at the front. They do have the same two plastic inserts on the midsole, but the rear insert now is no longer ribbed. It's very smooth. And also it rises up into the top of the heel cup here on both sides. And then you've got the heel tag pull here. On this sneaker, it's blue. On this sneaker here, it's red. Now, it's a slightly different heel tag. This one goes all the way around rather than sitting on top of the sneaker like the last one. You've got the all-in-one sock knit upper again, except this one's got an addition on the toe area here of a more perforated fabric material. The other one was just an all-in-one full sock knit upper. This one's got a slight addition on the toe area here. Also, rather than having three lace loops, you've now got four for extra stability around the mid of the foot and you've got round lace detailing rather than flat laces. I'm not a big fan of these round laces. I think they look too chunky, but this little NMD tag here, which is new, and this tag on the tongue have very nice 3M detailing, which does make the sneaker pop at night. But other than that, they're very similar. The sole is exactly the same. And also again, in the shoe there, the insole is perforated. So just in those gaps there is the actual boost midsole. So you're pretty much standing straight on the boost when you put these sneakers on. Now I wanna show you how they look on feet. In terms of looks, I'm just gonna chuck in this additional video now for you, just to show you that this part of the sneaker here, it's an all-in-one knit upper. It should really have a real sock-like feel to it. But for me, there was a huge gap around this area here where you can pretty much just fit your finger all the way around the shoe. There's not really too much support in that area. Now the heel cup here, does offer nice support. Your foot isn't coming in and out of the sneaker as you're walking, 
but it just looks and it does feel a little bit funny on the feet. And that's gonna bring me on to the comfort now. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love a boost midsole. And you're gonna see from the curb test that is an incredibly reactive midsole. And when you're walking, the sock knit upper is incredibly comfortable on feet. But just for me, it doesn't look good and it does feel a little bit strange that there is a huge gap around here. I personally would have preferred it to be a little bit tighter on the foot when you're putting it in. So it offers a bit more, I don't know, just a better feel to it really. But have a look at the curb test now and you can see how much responsiveness you get out of this incredible Adidas Boost midsole. Now I want to move on to how much these sneakers weigh. Topping 350 grams, which was a surprise for me because the original NMD R1s, I do feel were lighter than this. Obviously I never got around to weighing them, so I can't really do an exact comparison. But when I had the other NMD R1s on feet, they did feel a little bit lighter than these. I don't know if it's the additional weight that comes with the plastic on the heel cup here. It could be that. It could be the additional, the heavy materials that they've used on the upper with the additional lace loops and the chunkier laces. But for me, I'm a bit surprised by that, a little bit disappointed that they're topping 350. I prefer a lighter weight sneaker, especially one that is designed to be more lightweight. Now, moving on to their breathability, where I'm gonna pump the sneaker full of smoke so you can see how breathable this upper is. Oh, this shoe is incredibly breathable. The upper for this sneaker is one of the most breathable I have ever reviewed on the channel. Now, moving on to their price. These come in at a very reasonable 110 pounds. Now, with sneaker prices going through the roof at the moment, I think Adidas have priced this very reasonably. And for me, the NMD R1 version 2 silhouette is an improvement on the original silhouette. I think looks-wise, it's great. Comfort-wise, the Boost midsole is one of the best out there with this all-in-one sock knit upper as well. It's very comfortable. For me, the breathability can't really be beaten, but overall, I'm gonna give these four and a half stars. Very, very close to a five-star rating for this sneaker because I do really like it. However, for me, they weigh just a little bit too much. I would have hoped that Adidas could have shaved off maybe 30, 35 grams off this sneaker to make them a little bit more lightweight. And also, just the comfort around the ankle at the very top of this sneaker here. I just would have thought that it would have been a bit tighter fit just to add that little bit more comfort and security when you're wearing the shoe. I, like, I feel like if I wore these around for a couple of weeks, I'll probably completely forget about that element of these sneakers. But first impressions, I have to give these sneakers a very, very solid four and a half stars. I can't do the perfect five. Now moving on to the winner of the competition four, these Nike Go Swifts. I'm gonna reveal five names now. Whoever DMs me first on my Instagram handle that I'll show in a second will win this pair of sneakers. Now, don't forget, if you wanna be on with a chance of winning future sneaker giveaways that I do on the channel, hit that subscribe button below. You can also follow me on Instagram, drop any comments, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks very much for watching. Hope to see you again very soon for another leather-free shoe review. Thanks for watching, bye.